Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Joel. I'm an analyst based in Singapore, and this is a sharing about how we can automate the process of using an Excel list as a selection criteria to run a report in SAP. You can even filter the list based on different conditions prior to running your report. To start off, the input source we have here is a list of customers, and I would like to extract their details from SAP. Let us walk through the typical process that I went through to extract their details. First, I will highlight all the customer ID in the list. Press Ctrl C to copy it to the clipboard. Then, I will go to SAP and access the T code Z customer. On the selection screen, click on the multiple select button for customer ID. Click on the paste from clipboard button. Once the list is pasted in, click on execute and run the report. Here is the report that contains all the customer details from the customer ID list. Now that we are clear with the process, I will start to record the script that is to be executed in Power Automate. Click on Script Recording and Playback. Change the script name here to something that can be identified easily. Click on Record. Perform the same step as what we have went through. Once completed, Click on the Stop button. Navigate to the directory that the recorded script have been stored using Windows Explorer. Right click on the script file and click on Edit. This is the script that we'll use as part of the flow in Power Automate Desktop. With the script ready, open Power Automate Desktop. Click on New Flow and I will name my flow Excel Range to SAP. For the first action, I will use the Launch Excel action to launch the customer list. For demonstration purpose, since my Excel is currently being opened, I will use the Attach to Running Excel action instead. For now, I will disable the Launch Excel action first. Next, use the Set Active Excel Worksheet action to ensure that the correct worksheet is being referenced. Then in the next step, we will get the first free row to check how long is the list. Now, we need to copy the list of customer's ID. Use the copy cells from Excel worksheet action under the advanced tab. Change the copy mode to values from a range of cells. For the start column, it is 1, while the start row is 2. As for the end column, it will still be 1. While the end row will be the first free row variable generated from the previous step, Minus one. After this step, the list of customer ID would have been copied into the clipboard. It's time for us to run the SAP script that was previously recorded. Search for run VB script action and use it at the end of the flow. Now, copy the script from the recorded script file and paste it into the field. If the script contains any percentage icon, change it to double percentage instead. Click on save. If no syntax error is found, let us try and test out the flow. Everything is working fine and we got our expected outcome. Some of you may be wondering if it is possible to filter the Excel list prior to utilizing it to run SAP report. Well, the answer is yes, but I believe there's currently no straightforward way to do it via Power Automate Desktop Excel action. There's a workaround that I would like to show you. Let me return to Excel. Let us come up with a scenario now. For the list, I would only like to run the report for the customer with country code US and DE. For the workaround, we need to use Excel macros. If you notice that there's no developer tab in the ribbon section, click on File, then Options. Search for Customize Ribbon and tick the developer line. Click on OK and you will see that the Developer tab has now appeared. Now we need to store our Excel script in a XLSM file or a macro-enabled workbook. Create a blank workbook, then save the workbook as a macro-enabled workbook file type. Once you have saved the file, click on Developer and click on Visual Basic. This is the Visual Basic Editor where we can develop our macro. I would not go too deep for now. If you are interested to learn anything specific, 
feel free to leave it down in the comment section below. Let us continue on. Right click on the .xlsm workbook that you have created and click on insert module. Once the window for the module is open, paste in the macro script. For those of you who are interested to find out more, I'll provide you the exact script and the XLSM workbook down in the description below. Just a quick summary of what the script is doing. This script will take in two variables, a workbook path and a worksheet name, which we will be passing in from Power Automate Desktop. Then it will identify the last column and the last row of the worksheet. Subsequently, it will filter the table based on some criteria. In our case, I will filter the country column, which is column 3, with the criteria where the value is US and DE. If you are interested to learn about the script more in depth, be sure to subscribe to the channel as I will be posting another video soon specifically on filtering Excel tables with Power Automate Desktop. Click on Save and close the Visual Basic Editor and all the Excel files. Return to Power Automate Desktop and we'll do some changes here. The first step is to launch the macro enable workbook that we have just created. Since we are running macro in the subsequent step, remember to turn on the load add in and macros option. Then we will run the Excel script that we have created. Choose the Excel instance generated from launching of the macro enable workbook. And for the macro, it needs to be entered in the following format. Macro name followed by the arguments separated by semicolon. Once we have put in our parameters, click on save. Before we finish the script, use the close Excel action to close both Excel instances, the macro enable workbook and the customer list. Before testing out the flow, let me also delete this redundant launch Excel action as we will be launching the customer list straight in the Excel macro script. After the flow is complete, click on run and test the flow. There you have it. That is the end-to-end -end process of filtering an Excel list and use it to run your SAP report. I hope this tutorial is helpful. If you enjoy this content, please give me a thumbs up as it always reaffirms that the content that I am creating is valuable to you guys. That's all I have. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you later.